So as you guys know, my workshop solar power system is two LV6548s in parallel for a split phase output. And in a past video, we discussed grounding the system and how I run it as a floating system. And for the AC charger, I use the grounding conductor from the AC input to dissipate excess charge and to use the grid's ground as a reference potential. But today I found something out about the AC output that you guys might find interesting. And I really don't know the best way to solve the issue. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say. So last night, Filter Guy and some other forum members were discussing the ground neutral bond in these all-in-one systems. And they said that when the inverter is on and powered by battery, there's a ground neutral bond. And I did not think that to be true. That's why I created my own in the panel. That would allow me to charge my Tesla because it needs that ground neutral bond. And then they said when the inverters are off, there is no ground neutral bond just in case there's an AC bypass and it needs to power the loads from the grid. I'm obviously not using that, so that does not pertain to the system. But it got me thinking, is there a ground neutral bond? Nowhere in the manual did it state that there was a relay for the ground neutral bond. And the manual's wiring schematic doesn't even show how to connect the grounds for the AC output. I mean, what if you have like eight of these units connected, how do you connect the grounds? So check this out, let's check for continuity between the neutrals and the grounds. These are the grounds for each AC output of each inverter. So first I turn the inverters on. This is the ground from inverter number one, and we have continuity to the neutral. Now inverter ground number two to neutral, there's continuity. Now let's test if there's voltage between the neutral and the ground. And there is none, zero volts. But this one does have a little bit. 14 volts AC, which is quite interesting. So now I'm thinking I should keep the grounds in the neutral separate in the panel because they're already bonded inside the units. And I think these grounds should be bonded at the panel to the case of the panel. Now something we should test is where the ground is connected. If I'm using the AC input on that side with a true earth ground, I do not want to connect the AC output to another true earth ground and create a ground loop. That would not be good. So first I turn the inverters off. First from inverter number one right here to the case, there is continuity. Now AC output number two to case, there's continuity. Now AC output to AC input, and there is continuity. Now let's turn on the inverters and see if it changes. So the case is still grounded, obviously. So AC output ground to AC input ground, and it's still connected. So the ground is continuous from the AC input to the AC output. And I actually mentioned that in my previous video. So when you connect these systems to an earth ground, it should only be at the AC input, not at the panel. Now this finding is quite concerning because I have seen other YouTubers and people in my comment section claim to be electricians, and they say that you should have a grounding rod connected to the panel for the AC output. And that is absolutely false. That is very dangerous. You'd be creating a massive ground loop. Imagine the charge gradient across my whole property and I have all of that power going through my equipment. That is not smart. But when you're connected to the earth ground through the AC input, is this system technically floating? I don't think so because you have a ground neutral bond in each unit you would have to disconnect the AC input entirely if you want a floating system. For this system, I think it's easier to use the AC input for my earth ground to dissipate excess charge accumulation if it were to occur, and to use as a reference potential for the cases across my entire system. And I'm thinking that the grounds of the AC output should be on their own bar, but connected to the case of my panel. The neutrals should be separate. But that's what I'm thinking. If you guys disagree, I would love to hear your logic and reasoning down below. Now, if your system is completely off grid and you plan to never use the AC input terminals for bypass or the battery charger, technically you could earth ground this panel on the AC output. But personally, I would not do that. I would run it completely as a floating system. I just think there's less problems and it's easier to set up. But if you plan to ever use the AC input ever, you need to use it only on the AC input at one spot. Do not create a ground loop. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but yeah, you do not want to do that. Now, something that got me thinking is that the neutral for these inverters AC output is not technically the same neutral that you would find in a North American grid situation. Even though it's bonded here, you are putting two of these circuits into series. 
So that is considered a hot, really. You pretty much have four hots coming in in two grounds. Now, if we connect the grounds over there and we have the AC input grounds connected to the grid as well, we made another ground loop. So yeah, if you wanna connect these to the grid, I think you should only do it with one unit. Um, in the manual, it states that you can connect them all. So I really don't know how to approach that. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Should we keep every ground separate on the AC output and have its own bar for each inverter? I think that would be silly because you want a reference potential for all of the cases. And I think the AC output ground is the best way to do that. If you connect to an earth grounded system though, I would recommend only doing one inverter. Even if you have six inverters, only have one inverter connected to a true earth ground. Now we'll dissipate charge accumulation for the entire system. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say or if you disagree with me. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the grounds in the neutral separate. If you think that's a bad idea, please let me know in the comment section below. The distributor of these units actually told me to do a ground neutral bond in the panel and that's safe to do. And I did it for months and it works fine. So it might not even matter, um, but there are bonds in here and I do not like ground loops of any kind at all. So for this system, I'm gonna keep those separate and then I'm gonna have earth ground for the input and that's it. Anyways, I can ramble on forever, so I'll stop talking. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know down below. Bye.